This is a little video I'm making for my nieces and my nephew. My nieces Luby and Nelly and their baby brother Benson. I miss them very much and I can't visit them right now because of the pandemic. So I thought I would read them a little book. It could be their bedtime story. This is one of my favorite books. So I thought I would read it to you guys since I know that you guys have been planting a garden with your mom. This is called Whose Garden Is It? And I love gardens. And I know you guys have worked hard on yours and you have a beautiful garden. So I thought I'd read you this book. All right, can you see the beautiful picture? I think the, the pictures in this book are so beautiful. I could just read it over and over again. See, these are poppies. I, I love poppies. They look like they're painted even when they're real. All right. Can you see the pictures? I'll try to make sure you can see the pictures, but it's a little backwards for me. Mrs. McGee went out walking one day, and as she was cheerfully wending her way, she passed by a garden with colors so bright. She never had seen such a beautiful sight. How splendid, how pleasant, how simply exquisite. This garden is perfect, but whose garden is it? Can you see? I see a gardener there. You see all the flowers, there's a little dog following them. Speaking of little dogs, my little dog followed me. Okay. The gardener answered, can you see that page? The gardener answered, as clear as can be. This garden you see belongs only to me. I am the owner and everyone knows it. I am the person who plants it and grows it. See how I keep it in first rate condition. No one can come here without my permission. Try to move that so you can see it. The gardener bowed and allowed her to pass, then went back to weeding and seeding the grass. He grumbled to see that some lettuce was gone and stamped on some strange bumpy lumps in the lawn. So he lets them in to see his exquisite garden. Then Mrs. McGee heard a sharp little squeak. Up puffed a rabbit who started to speak. He says it is his, but I cannot agree. If no one can come here, then what about me? I've lived my whole life here just to see how I dine. He grows me my dinner. This garden is mine. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good argument, isn't it? The rabbit says, he's just my chef. It's my garden. That's so, sniffed the woodchuck. See the woodchuck? From under a wall. You eat just a little, but I eat it all. I gobble each bud and each leaf and each vine. I eat the whole garden. This garden is mine. Hmm. It's mine, the bird twittered from high in a tree. The worms in the garden were put there for me. Uh oh, do you think he agrees with that little worm? Not so, sighed the worm. Why I make the soil fine, and that's why I'm put here. This garden is mine. Hmm. The worms do work hard in the garden. It's mine, the wasp grumbled. I've built a fine nest here. Let me see those pictures. It's mine, Buzzaby. You're just a pest here. I pollinate flowers. It's easy to see. This garden would not even be without me. Hmm. The bee or the wasp or me, bragged the butterfly, begging your pardon. I too spread the pollen all over this garden. Hmm. What do you think, girls? Who's right? It's mine, squeaked the squash bug. No, mine, whined the flea. No, mine, snapped the beetle. It's planted for me. Hmm. Not so, hissed the snake from down under a pine. I feast on you fellows. This garden is mine. Hmm. I found a few snakes in my garden before. It's mine, groaned the mole. It's full of my furrows. It's mine, squeaked the bull. See my bumps and my burrows? The toads and the turtles, the squirrels and the hares, the chipmunks and crickets all claimed it was theirs.
Then Mrs. McGee heard a hum in her ear. Who was that calling? What did she hear? It's mine, a plant rustled. I blossom in season. If this is a garden, then I am the reason. No mine, a weed whistled, a wave in the breeze. You have to be planted. I grow where I please. Hmm. It's mine, breathed the soil. It is perfectly clear. Nothing could grow here if I were not here. It's mine, barked the tree, for I shelter and shade you. And as my leaves fall year by year, I have made you. Hmm. It's mine, smiled the sun, shining down on the tree. I bring heat, I bring light. Nothing lives without me. Hmm. That's a good point. Nothing lives without me. That is perfectly plain. My showers bring flowers, it's mine, cried the rain. Oh, look, one of my little kids helped color this beautiful book. <laughs> then Mrs. McGee heard a faint little sound. Something was murmuring under the ground. Something that seemed as if she were quite near it. Holding her breath, she bent over to hear it. You can see the picture there. It's mine, the seed whispered, although I am small. The others may help me, but all of them know, without me to grow from, no garden would grow. Hmm. Back in my spot. The sun was now setting. You see that? The sun was now setting, the day growing late. The gardener called as she walked out the gate. Now, wasn't my garden a fine place to visit? But still she kept wondering. Are you still wondering? Pondering, wondering. Whose garden is it? The end. I hope you guys made it through. It's a long book. What do you guys think? A lot of contributors to that garden, right? But I know that you guys have worked really hard on your garden. So can you have your mom send me a Marco Polo and show me your garden, okay? All right, Nellie, Ruby, Baby Benson, love you guys. Bye.